Welcome back to the OHL today. You'll recognize this guy most often in a jersey, but not anymore. Once a battalion, always a battalion. Zach Bertina, you retired from hockey on Tuesday. What went into your decision to make that very difficult decision? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been suffering from some symptoms for the past two years, and, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be one of the toughest decisions I make in my life. Um, you know, I've never really thought of what's going to happen if I'm not a player, but you know, I took a hit there a couple Sundays ago, and uh, my symptoms were elevated. And uh, I saw a neurologist, and you know, um, she she kind of, she made the decision the, the decision pretty clear for me. And uh, from there, I spoke with my family, and uh, you know, we decided that uh, I couldn't keep going as a player. We're going to put the hit up on the screen. I know it might be difficult to watch over again. This is it. Bring us through what went through your mind when this happened. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't straight to my head. Uh, it was just a blindside hit, and um, you know, immediately, I, I was pretty disappointed. I mean, it was it was something that happened right at the buzzer of a two-goal game, and I mean, I, I had a headache instantly, and uh, I knew in my head it was something that might be serious, but. Um, you know, I hope for the best, but it didn't end up working out that way for me. For someone that might not know about head injuries, it doesn't have to be directly to the head, it's just when the brain moves, and that's when it can happen. Did you know that that could be it? Yeah, I mean, and like you said, uh, I mean, any other player on my team, that, that hit would have been fine. But, um, you know, I, I've learned a lot about the concussions and stuff, and I mean, you know, because my brain's already a little injured and, uh, you know, it hasn't recovered 100%, the smallest hits like that and the movements or the, the jugging of my neck, you know, it, it can cause concussion symptoms again for me. Now, looking at the bright side, you're a strapping young lad. So what do you have planned for, for the rest of the life for Zach Bettina? You're young, 19 years of age. Yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't really thought of life outside of being a player yet, but... Um, I mean, uh, both my parents are teachers. They, they've always been huge on education. So this semester, I'm going to be working to uh, get some treatment and rehab for my head. And next year, full-time uh, university pursuing a business degree. Tell us about the support you've received from your family, the fans, the troops, the staff, everyone. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. I mean, uh, there's been a couple tough days for me, for sure. But I mean, uh, with social media nowadays, it's, it's insane how, how many people can reach out to me and uh, you know it's 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 helped a lot and just on the fun side of things here you're known for your crazy sweaters I picked out my cr uh, Christmas sweater for this year it's a pale blue blue jays sweater what about you what's your Christmas sweater this year I haven't picked it up yet but uh, you know I'll probably be hitting Value Village up soon and looking for some old uh, old sweaters maybe Mickey Mouse again yeah I mean Mickey Mouse is a top one for me Zach thanks for this and best of luck in the future a gentleman and soon to be a scholar Zach thank you thank you very much there is Zach Bertina here to support his troops. Once a troop, always a troop. Upstairs to Runjan and Greg for the second period.